Hi! Today we are going to do five uses of eyeshadow. All you're going to need really is your favorite eyeshadow palette that has mostly neutrals in it and then some brushes. I also have a finishing spray that I'm going to show you how to use, um, a mascara and some lip stuff as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The first fabulous way that you can use your eyeshadow as something other than eyeshadow is brow powder. Super easy. You're just going to grab a small brow brush and dip into whatever color is closest to your eyebrow. Before I do my brows with eyeshadow, I spray the tip of my brush with a setting spray. It makes it glide over your brows a little easier. So I'm going to do a mixture of the black and the brown here. Tiny little strokes like so. This is another great way um, to get the exact right color you need for your brows. A lot of brow pencils or brow gels are not going to be your exact right color. Perfect. So there are my eyebrows and I feel fabulous about that. Yay! And that was so easy. So there we go. First step down, eyeshadow as brow powder. Feeling fabulous. So the next step, you can use your eyeshadow as a false eyelash effect. So I'm going to show you first one eye without doing this. So there we have an eye with just the mascara on it, which looks fabulous, but we want to go a little further. Go ahead and grab another small-ish brush and dip into your black eyeshadow. Paint it on to the tips of my eyelashes. So now that I have my eyeshadow on my eyelash, I'm going to go in with my mascara. And here we go. And already, my eyelashes are so much longer and thicker and fuller on this side. It's pretty amazing. We're going to go back over with another layer of eyeshadow. And then we'll go back in with one more layer of mascara over the top. Regular mascara on this side. And a couple layers of eyeshadow and mascara on this side. And it does make a pretty big difference, I think. The third thing that we can do with your eyeshadow palette is highlight and contour. Ha! What a great day! I'm gonna start with, I think this is, this brush is just called a blender brush. And I'm gonna start with my contour. So I'm gonna dab in a little bit of both of these two brown colors and just start going in here with my contour on my cheeks, on my jawline here, a little bit around my nose, and blend out the contour. Ta-da! And so to finish off, we're gonna do our highlight and just grab a super light color and sweep it over where you would do your highlight. So right off the top of your cheek, above my eyebrows, down the center of your nose, and on the tip of my chin. And I'll just blend in that highlight. Oh, yeah! There I am. I have blended in my highlight and my contour. You are able to fill in your hair color with your eyeshadow. It's usually for if you're wearing your hair up. So I'm gonna put my hair up and use kind of a combination of dark brown and black and start coloring right in my hair. So this just kind of gives you the illusion of having even thicker, fuller hair. It's really simple. I'm just literally painting anywhere that I see a little white spot. My hair is touched up and looks fabulous. No scalp showing through. For our fifth and final use of eyeshadow, you can use a light colored eyeshadow as a lip plumper. So I'm going to put on my lip color. You just take your lightest color on your eyeshadow palette on your finger and just tap it right in the middle of both your top and bottom lip and then just it kind of gives the illusion of shine when you don't actually have any shine. Those are the five uses that you can do for eyeshadow. Try them at home. If you have other uses that you like, please like, comment, share this video, tag a friend. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.